Hi, I'm Brendan Oldridge, and this is my video for my culinary scholarship that I am applying for. Today I will be making homemade chicken noodle soup over mashed potatoes, as it is a family recipe. Alright, let's get started. So today I'll be starting off with half of an onion and two carrots, which I've already taken the luxury of peeling because... Nobody wants to watch me peel a carrot, let's be honest. So, first we're just going to cut the onion, so. Since I just cut my onion, I'm going to move on to my carrots now. Have to remove the bad edges. Now, I'm going to begin cutting. So this recipe was actually passed down from uh, my mother's side of the family, and when I was young, she, uh, I asked her to teach me, and it was the first meal I ever asked her to teach me, and that's kind of what started this long trip of the culinary experience. So, after I cut up my carrot, I need to cut them into more decent sized pieces, more acceptable terms, by size, so that is what I am doing. After this, we're going to go and put them back into the one single bowl because it's going to go straight into the pot. Now that we have all our vegetables cut, I'm going to set them aside and move to our pretty good sized chicken breast. And I'm going to begin cutting that up into bite-sized pieces. Now that I'm back, I'm going to take this pot and fill it half full of water, which I've already done. Now I'm going to take my vegetables and pour them in. Take my chicken and do the same. And move on to my spices. I have a heaping tablespoon of Italian seasoning. A tablespoon, a teaspoon of oregano. A teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Get the little extra. In. I have half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. Now that I'm going to mix it all together and then I'm going to go and turn it on. Turn the heat on to medium heat, and I'm going to let it simmer for an entire day. Now we're going to move on to our homemade noodles. So first, I'm going to want to start off with a cup of flour, one egg, half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to mix it together with just enough water to make it doughy, but not a sticky dough. In the bowl. I'm going to start putting some water in to make it a good amount of doughiness, just as if it was plain. Since my noodles are done, I'm going to go and take this cloth and cover it for about 30 minutes, and next we're going to make our mashed potatoes. Now we're back to mashed potatoes. I already put a pot of water on to boil on high heat with some potatoes I already peeled because, yet again, who wants to watch me peel potatoes? And I'm going to let them boil until they are fork tender. Now that I have my dough, it's time to roll it out. I'm currently flattening out my dough to give it a thinner consistency, around less than around a, like about a third of an inch, because once they do hit the uh, soup, they will expand. So that's something you do have to kind of preempt. Now we're almost ready to cut our noodles. I begin cutting my noodles, and you can see I'm using a pizza cutter, which is actually the easiest tool to do this with. So I'm going to finish uh, cutting all my noodles, 
and then I'm going to go and let them sit for a while and kind of dry out, and then I'm going to go and make my mashed potatoes. I've already drained my potatoes, and I'm about to begin. So I'm going to take some butter, take some milk, and just do a little dash of it, not too much. I'm going to salt and pepper to taste. Looks about good. Not too much salt. My mom found out that if you actually use an egg with the potatoes, it makes them light and fluffy, which is very nice to have in the soup. Creates a well-rounded feeling. But now that the potatoes are done, it's time to take the noodles and put them in the soup. If you want to put your noodles in, you would like to uh, lay them straight so they uh, don't actually uh, stick to themselves. Or your fingers. Lo and behold, it is time to eat. Let's get our mashed potatoes, put them in the bottom of our bowl. You want to make sure it's kind of covered a pretty good amount, kind of like this. And then take this and dish up, dish up some food. Now it's time to eat. Mmm. It is very good. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.